Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, my name is Kate and I post faith and fitness related videos on this channel. As you can see from the title, we are going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me for church. So yes, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okie dokes, first off, I have already applied my concealer. I will link all the products down in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. So in this video, I thought I would chat about what it's like to be a Christian YouTuber. So next, I'm going to apply BB cream. So the first thing that I want to talk about is why I started my channel. I remember wanting to start a YouTube channel for the longest time ever. And I think it was a year and a half ago when my husband Kevin told me that it's time to start a YouTube channel. So we purchased a camera and I just started my channel. The purpose of me starting this YouTube channel is to share my passion and love for the gospel and for fitness. If you see my very first YouTube video, it was a vlog of my life as a theology student. So yeah, that was my very first video and I do fitness vlogs as well because I just enjoy sharing my fitness journey. I am not an expert at it, but I really enjoy just sharing my workouts and how I am trying to stay fit and healthy and I want to encourage other people to do that as well. Next, I'm going to apply my eyeshadow primer. So another thing that I want to talk about is the pros and cons of being a Christian YouTuber. So I'm gonna start with the fun stuff first because there are a lot of fun stuff of being a Christian YouTuber. So the first thing that I enjoy is filming and editing. I just enjoy being on camera. I don't know if that sounds vain but I do enjoy just filming, especially editing. I am not a creative person when it comes to art and that kind of stuff. But I think I am creative when it comes to filming and editing and so it's just fun for me to do that. The second thing that I enjoy being a Christian YouTuber is preparing for my faith videos and preparing for my fitness talks as well because although I'm not an expert in the fitness field, I enjoy preparing and studying for it and sharing motivation tips and that kind of stuff on YouTube. I love studying the scriptures and sharing what I learned from it here on YouTube. So I absolutely love that. Okay, next I'm going to apply some powder. The third thing I enjoy about being a Christian YouTuber is that there are a lot of good faithful Christian girls who have a faith-based YouTube channel. I absolutely enjoy watching other Christian YouTubers share their faith on YouTube and I think that is awesome. Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows. The last thing I enjoy is getting encouraging comments and messages from you guys because filming editing and preparing for videos takes a lot of time and takes a lot of prayer as well and boldness and it's not easy to put yourself out there and talk about the gospel and preach that jesus is the only way the world doesn't like to hear that there is only one way to God and so it can be really scary when you say on the internet for the people to see like you're a Christian, you love Jesus, that is unpopular nowadays and so getting encouraging comments from others is just a blessing. There are definitely a lot of fun things that comes with being a Christian YouTuber, but there are also struggles as well. I wrote down four things that I struggle with being a Christian YouTuber and the very first thing is that 
it is hard work and time consuming so i think that it is very important to love what you're doing because when you don't enjoy and have a passion for filming and editing and sharing what you know and encouraging other folks online if you do not have that then making youtube videos can be a task and it can be a chore because man it is time consuming and it is hard work the next struggle that i wrote down is comparison because when i do faith talks on certain topics i feel unqualified sometimes to talk about these things sometimes i think in the back of my head oh i'm not smart like other christian youtubers and i think that it's okay to feel unqualified because that makes us prepare even more and study the bible before actually posting it online i think that it is good to feel unqualified sometimes because it makes us value preparation and studying the bible first before teaching it to others comparison is a killjoy and so it is very important to always remind yourself of the reason why you started your channel and having mature people around you to remind you that you are there to spread the good news not to compete with other people the third struggle that i wrote down is negative comments when you put yourself out there you will get negative comments so being prepared of receiving negative comments is crucial if you're a christian youtuber i know some of you have gotten negative comments on your channel and it's not easy and that's definitely one of the biggest struggles when you share your faith online next is eyeshadow the last thing that i struggle with being a christian youtuber is making sure i say the right thing i think that every christian youtuber struggles with this because we do not want to say anything online that is not in line with god's word i think that is very important to study before you share anything online especially when you are handling the word of god and i'm not saying that we have to be perfect at it what i'm saying is that we have to make sure that we say the right thing and we won't always say the right thing because we are imperfect we are not infinite like god our minds are finite and it is okay to say you know what i'm actually not sure about this topic i don't know what to say i think that it is good to say that rather than just guessing and sharing your own opinion next is i'm going to contour my nose i also wrote down things to be aware of when you are making videos and these are the things that i have to remind myself all the time the first thing that i wrote down to be aware of is community is more important than virtual community we see a trend now that people say that they're happy and comfortable because they are a part of a church online but when we look at the bible the early church met in the flesh regularly and as christians we are called to live lives together with our church family we are called to practice the one another's in the bible to love one another to make disciples and we cannot do those things if our christian lives depend on what we see online one of the dangers of being a christian youtuber is that it takes so much time just filming preparing and editing is very time consuming and so using our time wisely is very important and making sure that our time for youtube does not take away our time from serving in our local church from making relationships making disciples in real life and so it's very important to make sure that our priorities are in check the next thing to be aware of is to make sure that your worth does not come from what you produce because it is so easy to get discouraged when you work 
so hard on your videos and you don't get the result and when this happens it is so easy to forget why we started our youtube channel in the first place okay so my wings are done when this happens remember that your worth is found in christ not in what you produce when we put our worth on how many views we get or subscribers and likes and how many numbers we get it can be very discouraging and so do not put your worth on what you produce always remember your worth can only be found in christ the third thing to be aware of is to watch your tongue because i want to present myself in a godly manner and to talk about a topic that i am confident about that i have studied myself and that i am learning myself as well and i want to handle god's word with fear and trembling and to take it seriously because jesus said in matthew 12 36 he said i tell you on that day of judgment people will give account for every careless word they speak okay next i'm going to contour my face the last thing i want to share is don't take the glory to yourself because when you get nice comments and encouraging messages it is so easy to get a big head and take the glory to ourselves i think that it is important to receive compliments and encouraging comments and say thank you so much i think that it's important to embrace compliments but god sees our hearts and he knows that we get easily distracted he knows that we are self-centered and selfish and so receive that compliments that you get with humility and at the end of the day you give that to god you give the glory to him before i close up this video i just want to encourage those of you guys who are planning on starting a faith-based channel i think that having a desire to share the gospel on the internet is absolutely amazing i encourage you guys to pray about it to seek counsel from other mature believers to keep going back to the word of god to be obedient to jesus and most importantly give the glory to him in everything that we do may we all do it for the glory of god before i say my goodbye i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing today so i'm just wearing my yellow headband some shell earrings i put my hair in a ponytail and i'm wearing this yellow sunday dress it's very flowy nice it's modest and i love dresses yeah that is it for this video guys thanks so much for watching thanks for getting ready with me i hope that you found this video helpful and yeah if you do appreciate what you see like and subscribe and also follow me on instagram for daily updates grace and peace be with you see you in my next video but for now much love and god bless bye